Hey guys, welcome back. So, quick backstory, not backstory, but quick, quick reason. I'm supposed to be working on the 1932 Cadillac Classic Monogram Kit for the uh, Facebook Model Car Videos Facebook Group Build Contest uh, that we have going on, uh, ending on April 15th. But I just don't have the mojo right now. I don't know what it is. You ever got that way? I think the uh, 3D printing um, takes so much energy from me. And, and I know you guys are going to, in the comments, and, and I appreciate it, say, hey, don't burn yourself out. I, I'm not. I really enjoy uh, doing the 3D printing. It's, I mean, it's, it's, bringing it, it's bringing in money, and, you know, that always helps. But I do enjoy it. I truly enjoy it. It is a lot of work. Um, but for some reason, I just, at right now, uh, I, I can't motivate myself to get that Cadillac going. Um, but I just went to Roanoke to the MDA model car show and I got this kit from my friend Tim Mullins and this one just spoke to me just as soon as I saw it and I thought, you know what? I need to build this. This is really, I can really feel it on this one. Um, and I know we all get there uh, from time to time. I would assume that we all like, I just, I don't feel it on there right now. And we can be absolutely in love with a, a particular model kit or a style or something like that. And it just at that time just isn't what we need. And this is what I need right now. So this is the 26 Ford T sedan delivery. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the exact same kit except for the windows are. This is a delivery. As the oh, you see it right there, 26T, the uh, little John Butera car. That one has spokes and has windows in the rear. Where this one doesn't have spokes, but it. it I, I said this on the uh, haul video. It, it even says little Johns. So a uh, little John Butera would have been the hot rodder that designed. The other one, but this is pretty much the same thing, except it's a newer release. The one up there is from the 70s. Actually, that one's still wrapped. That's pretty cool. But this one is from 2000, right here. And uh, I swapped out Tim. Um, we did a, a swap out uh, engine and some wheels or something like that for this kit. He was, he was selling kits. So uh, I'm going to start on this, and I've, I think I'll try to use one of my uh, 3d printed small block Fords because this one does come with a small block Ford yes but I want to uh, put one of mine I may I love supercharged stuff just love it I may do the supercharged version that'd be a great motivation to go ahead and get that one printed and on uh, uh, available on the website too um, but I'm going to get it open uh, glue a few things together and I don't know if I'm going to use a hood because if I use a blower, I like, you, you know, you like the engine to be seen. So anyway, regardless of the fact, probably use some different wheels too. Um, we'll just see as it gets going. But anyway, this is a 125th scale. So everything, well, I don't even know where I was going with that thought. Everything should fit right. What's that got? What the heck's that got to do anything? Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to get going on it, open it up, glue some stuff together. I got to figure out, I don't want to paint it copper or bronze or whatever color that is i might i don't know i just i'm not sure yet got quite a few paints mcw paints that i can choose from so we'll see so uh, give me a second be right back all right so i got a little bit of progress done doesn't look like much but um so i dechromed all of the chrome parts and i think and i've not built many at all but I have noticed on some of the older Reveal kits that the chrome parts can sometimes be really fiddly and small. And the the chrome was not great on them anyway. I was going to de-chrome them. But it makes it easier at least. I can't get these to separate. But anyway, to get the parts. You can see the, see the flash and everything on them. And uh, what needs to be cleaned up. It just made it easier. Um, seeing the bare plastic, you know, to be able to clean it up rather than taking the chrome and maybe scraping it and then uh, primering over the chrome. I just like to get it all off, but I did get the chassis 
it's raining outside it's like probably at least a week since the very first segment here so I got the chassis put together it was really fiddly but it's together it's pretty unique how it's like a little custom chassis that goes under it so pretty unique but also uh, something that's pretty cool it's got like mounting tabs see in the back right there where that's how that cutout is and then your the back part of your chassis let's see fits right down in there so that's nice it aligns it really nice and in the front it's got two little tabs that hook there I've already cleaned up the body um, I've cleaned the fenders I've cleaned the root, or when I say cleaned, I've, I've got it ready for, um, uh, to be primered, rather. The hood, I think I mentioned already that I don't think I'm going to, to use a hood because I want to put a supercharged engine, and I could have it sticking out just through the top, but I think I'm just going to leave the hood and side panels off. I think it'll look better, personally, to me to, uh, to have that open. So I'm going to do that, and I want to find possibly a set of 3D printed wheels to put on it. Haven't made a decision on that. I'm going to scrape these, get them uh, cleaned up so I can get some um, gloss black on them before I put chrome. And uh, then we'll see how it goes. So that was just a quick intro. I think I am going to use the stock transmission, however, on the 3d printed small block that i have i also have it on my website um real quick about that uh the version that i have on the website is just carbureted i've got it in back so it doesn't really you can't really see anything but it's just a carbureted nice very nice intake Elderbrock intake and stuff like that but i've got uh several other versions that i need to get uh in the printer uh supercharged i think i've got the two four barrel version I think there's a fuel injected version there's several of them that i have uh, yet to print but those will be upcoming on the website but anyway so i'm gonna get these parts cleaned up get some primer on the body and uh see how this goes anyway all right be right back all right no paint yet um just want to show you the all the uh de chrome parts right these cream color parts so this rear suspension, because it's kind of like all one unit, I was able to mock it up and glue that together so I can chrome that all at once. Because you would play havoc trying to do that piece by piece and yeah, not get glue all over the place. At least I would. I did forget the brakes. They didn't get de-chrome, but oh well, sand it off the flash and we're going to spray some primer and then gloss black. And the front suspension as well you can see that i just they're just sitting here they'll come right off so those are mocked up so now i can paint those units together and paint those chrome because i mean on the box and i ain't big on chrome honestly but you know you got like a jaguar rear end or whatever that thing is and the front suspension i guess you know you won't see it as much but i'm gonna chrome the front and rear suspension so that'll look pretty cool. So that's how I got that. And then I can clip it with a gator clip right there on the, uh, on the, where the wheel would attach and get that painted. So yeah, got my, got my handy dandy sprue glued to my fenders, floor pan, body, and all that stuff's ready for some primer. So now that's what I'll do. I'll shoot some primer. All right, got the primer on the body. Got the roof painted. Just uh, used the black primer surfacer, Mr. Uh, Hobby, Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 Black. That stuff make, has the best um, finish. It's still a little wet, you can see. But it's got the best finish. If you want to do, like, just tires, I think this stuff has such a realistic rubber look. But anyway... Got the body in gray, uh, Mr. Hobby primer. Um, I think I'm going to go with a lighter color paint on this. I, I usually go with something kind of darker. Not always, but usually it's a blue or, or actually it's not a blue, but red or something darker. I think I'm on. I think I'm going to go something light on this one. I did get the uh, 
the rear differential and the suspension parts on that painted and let's see if I can get it to focus there we go gloss black two coats of uh, Tamiya gloss black gloss black uh, the so spraying the um, metal colors if you don't have a good gloss base you're not going to get a good let's just say you're using green stuff world right if you don't have a good base that's glossy then your chrome isn't going to be shiny it's just how that works this stuff depends on depends on it ain't gonna focus but anyway whatever you're spraying it on to be super glossy so if you're spraying on something that's flat your chrome's gonna be flat but if you can find something that is uh, really glossy and um, two coats of two coats of the Tamiya gloss black that's very very glossy so that's going to take and make some absolutely wonderful chrome no matter what chrome you're using um, chrome paint like for instance well no focus at all I've got the spaz sticks that stuff's good Mark doesn't carry the spaz sticks but he does have the AK extreme metal AK chrome um, he also has all clad which I don't know which one of these is the chrome but anyway that's chrome right there all clad chrome that's some good stuff and obviously he's got the green stuff world chrome and uh, he also has and if you're not really good on at this stuff I would kind of recommend this AK super chrome it's direct you spray it. you get this is a, this is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 bucks for this bottle but it's big it's just absolutely full um you can spray that over anything it, it really doesn't have to have a base um i probably would still recommend having something shiny under it but that stuff just it's chrome no matter what you can lay it on thick the other kind of paints you have to you have to uh you got to spray them real light mist coats and if you don't get it just right it can be tricky but anyway all right, so I'm going to end this video. I didn't really get a whole lot done. I've got a lot more done than it looks. These suspension parts right here took quite a while to get all that stuff. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. That took a long time to get all those parts fitted and glued together, trying to hold them all together. Because the contact points to the chassis, I couldn't glue it. So I'm having to hold all those pieces and start gluing them together. But anyway, and then the front portions are over here too but anyway regardless of the fact it's going to be a cool cool little car or delivery van and you know what i noticed something the the butera let's see i thought it was the same kit and i, I bet you it is for the most part but that kit is what I was thinking it was the same except for the back windows were just covered. I'm talking funny because my neck is stretching so far up. Um, but this 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 model kit that I'm building, because it's a delivery, it has, and I know the Butera kit don't have this. Well, I say it don't. See, it's got a door in the back because it being a delivery van. And so the body is more than likely that, that kit up there doesn't have that. So... I may be mistaken, but mistaken, but I bet you it is still the majority of it, except for those body features, is the same model kit. But I think this is cool being the delivery. And it does, like I say, it's got little Johns on there, so I'm thinking they stole that. Not stole it, they owned it, but you know, little John Butera, little John's hot rod and race car works. So that might have been what he called his stuff. I don't know. Anyway, regardless of the fact, I'm finally getting some progress done on this thing and i'll come back with the next video and we'll have some uh, color picked out and uh, figure out what that's going to be but i'm going to go with something like so maybe something creamy uh something like that no hood going to have a supercharged uh small block ford in it i am going to use the original transmission just so it will line up with your you know transmission mount it's the same scale so i don't have to worry about you know it being out of scale or anything like that doesn't fit just perfect but it fits good enough so anyway all right well thank you for watching guys don't forget as always hobbynutmodels.com 
is where you can find all your MCW paint and all those things. And so you get your supplies, get your leveling thinner and uh, just your your UV glue or, 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 or just a plethora of stuff over there. So go check it out. Um, Hobbynutmodels.com. I appreciate Mark's support for so long. And uh, go over there and check out what he's got. Grab yourself a model kit while you're over there too. Also, my website, mcvproducts.net. That's where you can find yourself a small block Ford that I've got taken apart already to build. Uh, this one has a T10 transmission. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the C4 automatic, it looks like, is what they got from this kit. But anyway, I don't know if the headers are going to fit. I've got to start testing that stuff. But I love the long tube headers that that uh, small block's got. It's got an awesome Edelbrock. Uh, I think it says Edelbrock on it. Edelbrock. I've been corrected before. It's not Edel... Ed or Ed, how did I say it before? It's Edel Brock, but I think I said Ed or Brock or Ed. I don't know how I said it. I'm even confused. But anyway, mcvproducts.net, you can go grab yourself something from over there. I appreciate the support from you guys who have gone over there. I had my first shipment to New Zealand went out today, so that was pretty cool. I have shipped some stuff to Australia. You guys that are watching it from the UK and other places have asked. Um, if you just choose the shipping on the uh, on the on the site, it's going to automatically just be. I'm limited on how it lets me adjust that, but it just automatically puts priority mail international, which is quite expensive. But if you're overseas and you want to order from me, if you'll send me the parts that you would like to have, send me in a message, send me in an email, however you may choose to do that, I can tally up the weight of that order and then get you the cheapest uh, shipping cost possible and then pay me through paypal or something like that so um it is uh i will ship all over but um if you just go straight through the website it's going to put international priority on there and that's going to be kind of high so um i can still adjust that as for a matter of fact the order that went out to new zealand i know you guys are probably like why are you telling me this but some people want to know the, the order that went to new zealand um i was able to 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 get the price down 20 believe it or not $20 cheaper than it charged him initially because it's just a set shipping charge that I'm it's out of my control as far as how I can adjust the international shipping but I was able to lower it $20 for him and I refund that 20 bucks back to that uh, gentleman so if you're overseas somewhere outside of uh, United States I can ship to you just just uh, send me what you want and uh, we can work out a the most inexpensive ch shipping deal for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. When we come back again, I'm going to have some color picked out for this thing. It won't be that color. And the roof will be black. So we're going to have fun with this. Can't, i got to go find some wheels. Figure out what kind of wheels I'm going to put on. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you all. Take care. Bye.